Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. So today is going to be something a little different. Um, we are going to do a um, what if it was you type of episode. So I'm going to play something for you here. And once you listen to it, I'm going to give you... Um, my point of view and then in the comments we're going to discuss your point of view i want to know how you guys feel about this and i want to know what you would do if it were you i'm sure over this time period we all have thought about it and what we're going to be discussing is um if you were in miss robbie's shoes how would you have handled this situation we know how everything has went on. We know uh, what Tim did now. We know that he is guilty now. Um, but a lot of us have had a lot to say about his mom and her position um, and what she has done. So I'm going to play something for you and then I'm going to come back and give you my uh, opinion of what I would do. And then I would like to know what you guys would have done. So I'm going to go ahead and play that now, and I'll be back in a minute. She says she is still supporting her son, Tim Norman, who is currently incarcerated for the murder for hire killing of his nephew, Andre Montgomery. Now, both Tim and Andre appeared on the OWN Network's reality series, Welcome to Sweetie Pies. But during a recent interview, she said about her son, I've had tough times and I'm still having them, but God is good. She said, my son is in trouble right now, but I'm his mother. And I don't know no more about it than you because I hear it when you do. But I'm here for him to support. That's my son and I can't abandon him now. And that's just like what a mother would do. What would y'all do if y'all son was in this situation? <laughs> Be sitting over there with the victim's family. And I already had those uh, kind of thoughts because I had For real? kids. You damn right. I'll be sitting right over there with the victims. If you go out here and you take somebody's life or whatever, I love you and I always love you, but I am sitting with the victim family because you know what I'm saying. Mm. You know better than that than, than to take somebody's life or to have somebody's life taken. Yeah. You know, I mean, you you can support them, but it'll be it'll be from the other side of that courtroom. Yeah, uh, I'm just sorry. That's a tough one because I would I would think like how because she remind me like of some somebody, somebody's grandmother or my grandmother. Like I'm trying to think like if it was my father, what would my grandmother do? And I feel like my grandmother. She would pr try to do both, probably. She would probably do something for the victim's family and be there for them, right. but still be right at the jail with him, putting yes, money on would. his books and all kind of <clears throat> stuff and making sure he okay. So I kind of understand, Miss Sweetie, and I understand what you're saying. But you know, too, them right? dad is different. Yeah, now them dad is different. You know, you know, you know, you know Mike, I'm sitting there saying, let him go to jail. Let him sit in there. He can get him a job. He can get him a GED. He can get his life together with him. He get out of here. Have something together. And let him yep. sit in there and think. Get him on the street. Yeah, that mother's man. love is different, though. That mother's love, that can't let go, no matter what. Yeah. Well, y'all, we going to wrap up the hot spot on that note, but come on. Okay, so you seen that video, and you heard the commentary. Um, it pretty much was divided. Women felt one way. Men felt another way. Or should I say Ricky Smiley? So now it's my turn. I'm going to be honest with you. I had a friend or an associate whose son was accused of something similar to this. Not this, but something similar. And... She used to be on social media, uh, free whoever, free whoever. I don't remember the name. Um, and I used to be like, wow, that is her child. And I'm sure she loves him. But do you really want someone who committed such a crime to be free? Because not only did they commit this crime, they basically got away with it, which is going to make them feel as though they have no boundaries, which means that they are tend to, they're most likely going to in the future if the situation comes up or it, just because they want to do something maybe even worse than what they already got away with. Is that what you is that what we want in this world? Because 
we, people have issues with the police, true enough. Um, but at the same time, all policemen aren't bad. And the thing is, uh, these laws were put in place for you to uh, be protected in some way. Now, we could go, you know, deep with this subject and say that a lot of us, especially uh, people of color, feel that the law is not made for them. But the fact of the matter is the law has protected all of us at one point or another. Um, just imagine if there were no laws, how would you feel then? And that is honestly my position. As much as I love my children, I would not want them to be able to do things of this nature and get away with it because it's just going to make them, um, elevate. Usually people, uh, even that commit crimes, they start small and then they eventually elevate until they're finally stopped. That's usually how that happens. So with that being said, um, I wouldn't want, uh, I wouldn't want that. Although I wouldn't, I would hope that I taught my child or that my child was never in a position that they would even commit the crime. So why would I want them to get away with it? And a lot of people have said that Tim has always been coddled or protected. And that's why he, you know, elevated, um, for lack of a better thing to say. So my position is I would love my child and... If I was able to afford an attorney for my child, as opposed to letting them have a public defender, I'm sure I probably would participate um, in some way to help them. I'm just assuming. Um, but at the same time, that's my grandson. So he's mine too. So, you know, at the point that you decided to aggress against my grandson, <clears throat> you almost made yourself not my child. I mean, you didn't, but you almost did. Like, so I, I, I would be, I think I would sit on both sides. One day I would sit on this side. One day I would sit on this side. In my mind, I'm thinking, because I would have to show honor and dedication to my grandson, not to mention if he really felt that strongly about how he felt, I would not have ignored him. And I would have put him in a position to take the test down there. Also, if I already know that my child has stolen, has robbed people at gunpoint, because this is her child, she knows all his dirt. Also, I know that my child goes into my uh, bank deposits and take money and things. I probably wouldn't be so easy to uh, exclude him from the break-in. I would hope my child would not do that, but at the same time, I probably wouldn't put it past him. Another thing, for her to have that type of uh, stuff in her house, over a million dollars in um, <clears throat> furnishings and jewelries, etc., why does she not have cameras everywhere <clears throat> just for her own protection? My understanding is that she lives alone when Andre wasn't there. Um, so why would she not be a little bit more protected? I mean, that doesn't make sense to me either. So that's another position that I would have. I would think that um, I would have some kind of proof of what went on because I got cameras inside and I don't have near the amount of... Um, valuables in my home, but I have cameras. I have one outside. I have one in the back that covers the driveway area. I have them everywhere. And if I got to the point that I kept the type of money around, even marginally the amount of money that she keeps on her property, yeah, I would have even more cameras. I would have some on just to cover each side of my home so that if anyone came into any opening to the home that um, I would be able to uh, reasonably see and reasonably protect myself. So that's my position. I'm going to honor my child and my grandchild. I don't even know if I'm going to, at court, I'm, I don't know. 
I know I'm going to at least uh, speak for my grandchild. And I would say that I want justice. Even if that means that my child has to go to jail. If my child stepped out on my grandson like that, then jail is where he belongs. I mean, that's your kid, but it's still where he belongs. And I don't think that I would be able to live with myself to dishonor the life and legacy of my grandchild like that. He didn't even get to live and he prayed on him. So that's how I feel. I, I, I understand that the mothers love their kids, but you are going to basically uphold the wrong by being okay with the grandchild not being um, protected, especially knowing that you made uh, maybe, I'm gonna say it's a mistake. Maybe she doesn't feel that way. So I'm gonna say alleged just to protect myself. But I think that she made a mistake in not listening to her grandson. I think that she did. She should have at least honored or acknowledged his fears. And the fact that she didn't, I would hope that she regrets that. So with that being said, um, that is how I feel. And I, I, I really wanna know how you guys feel. I really would like for you all to uh, chime in below and share this with friends and family. I'm really wanting a consensus of a lot of opinions. I just really wanna know where people stand with this. And I thank you guys for taking the time to come to, to the channel. Um, also, uh, if you are not a member yet, please consider subscribing and definitely like this video. I can't wait to talk to you guys below and I see you in the next video.